The Migration Museum Project and the Exam Board OCR have teamed up to launch a competition for all pupils studying the Migration to Britain option in OCR's New History GCSE. Working in teams, the challenge for pupils was to design an exhibition on the theme of migration that will engage other young people. The prize for the winning team is the trip to New York to visit Ellis Island and the Tenement Museum. I found the migration unit really interesting because you'd think from a textbook that it's just going to be context that you're going to be reading from but it's got all these um, migration stories and the background of why people came to Britain. And I found that really interesting I was able to relate that to myself and then find out more about my family and why they came here. I really found interesting how there's been different motivations for people to move throughout the years so why different people have come into our country. From this migration model uh, what stood out to me is finding out key fun facts and finding out information that we wouldn't have otherwise known and facts that stick out to us as a whole and being able to share that with other people. This evening I'm excited to see the other views on migration that the other groups may have and what they focused on and what key ideas they bring to the table and see what happens. Uh, the chances of winning, well I say it's over 25% each and uh, we'll see how it goes. One of the main fears surrounding um, England being in the EU was that migrants would come in and take jobs that were intended for native um, English people. But I think studying migration means that the younger generations now have uh, an understanding of how important migration is for this country. We all get on really well, we're good friends and so, and the three of us are in the same class but we all do history so to kind of come together, look at it together, develop a project together as a team was something so important and to do it on something we all like so we're all interested in it was like even better. As part of our course we came to this Migration Museum actually and um, we had the, right, one of the authors of the textbook, Martin, talk to us and what really stood out for us for, was really the interlocking aspects of this Migration Museum. It's just all of it brings us all together and how the painting that Mark Martin showed of the Sphinx Sisters, that was really amazing. It has a thread running throughout and that really stood out to me. It just really emphasises how all of us are really united in this society. So we decided to go for the um, Migration Unit and um, for GCSE and it's been, it's been really exciting actually. It's been a journey, uh, I think, in terms of teaching it. Step into the future for reasons solely dependent on the individual powered by hope of positive change. I used that, and I quoted you in the talk I had to just last week. They took a, a, a kind of a curiosity about um, an academic history and made it a personal story. And I think they really showed that in the way that they presented and we, we were really proud of the way they, they demonstrated that. I think what's been uh, a real joy for us is, is those schools where there aren't maybe a large number of, of, uh, of children of migrant heritage and, and, and those schools that have really decided that, that they need this kind of study to make the study of history more inclusive and, uh, and that's been really great to hear what the, how people are approaching that and uh, the success that those schools have had. It was very, very moving to see these young people so engaged in the themes um, of the exhibition and presenting their ideas with such passion and with such intelligence. And they were looking at historic events but they were finding that they had contemporary relevance and contemporary resonance and that's exciting for them I think and really exciting for us as a museum looking to engage young people. The collaboration between OCR and the Migration Museum has been a really beneficial one. Um, it's allowed us to uh, further our educational mission and working with the Migration Museum to bring all of your expertise in how to put on exhibits in migration history has been absolutely fantastic. Teachers have said to us that the collaboration that we've had between the two of you has really inspired them either to teach migration GCSEs or even to do the competition if it runs again. We're so excited to be able to send the winning team to New York because they'll be able to experience um, Ellis Island and the Tenement Museum, which are these sort of incredible museums that tell the story of migration.